our board has struggled, I think as most boards have, with that whole concept of what is member linkage, what is owner engagement. And we've been stuck on that for the entire time, I think, that I've been involved either on the board or staff of Lake Winds, um, trying to figure out how do we get unstuck. And really the challenge is, particularly as we got big, um, how do we retain, well, I'm going to steal a phrase that Bobby said when I met him earlier today, how do we retain the funkiness that was ours when we were in this uninsulated red shack with blue shutters that had a dove, uh, a heart and a sh shock of wheat to indicate uh, what, we, what, uh, what our values really are. And as we've gone through some rebranding, we've thought a lot about how do we get to that set of values when we have all of, the, all of this business and these big stores and the usual things that you hear for co-ops about, oh, geez, you've gotten corporate. Um, when we know that we're a corporation, but we, we know that we have these values even though we look a lot different than we did 30 years ago. Um, and the one attribute I think that we can predict is that people still want that sense of belonging. I mean, we have in our society generally this yearning for the communities that we all um, I, I either came up in as we were growing up or just wanting the affinity when, when we have these busy lives that are so spread out, particularly in our area, we've got you know, a, a, a sprawling metropolis of three and a half million people. How do you get that sense of community in the co-op that was evident with the 20 or 30 families that, that really started the co-op um, so long ago? Because we all have that set of values and we all want to relate to that. Um, people want to belong. So, we, we can express that in the store tactically, which we do. Um, we have demos, we do grilling on the sidewalk, we have pop-up things that we do to give people an eye on any, any of the latest produce and stuff like that that we have. Um, so we can provide a great shopping experience. Uh, we can also provide or express our, the sense of belonging by the product standards that we have. I mean, there are, we have a list on our website of ingredients that we just won't buy, and I, I imagine most of you do too. And that resonates with our customers. Um, we, we hear over and over again people saying, I don't have to worry about anything when I'm shopping in your store. I can close my eyes, reach on the shelf, pick something off, and know that it's been vetted for me, know that I can eat it and not have to worry about it. And I think that creates a broad sense of community um, while expressing who we are as a co-op. Uh, we do, this will be the seventh year next month that we've done a gluten-free roundup where we will have 20 vendors in the store, each store on a Saturday, uh, doing demonstrations. And I'll tell you, the quality of what we have to demo today is so much better than we had at the first one um, with that specific type of product. And, you know, we like to think we were there. Well, we know we were there before Gluten-free became, I, I was reading something, I don't remember what the number was, but the you know, multi-billion dollar market now in those kinds of products. So, but that does bring people in from way beyond our typical service area. And we hear over and over again thank you, uh, people thanking us for bringing these things into the community and letting people try this stuff out. Uh, and that's one example of the food allergies and some of the other special diet things that, that I'm sure we all deal with as co-ops. Um, so we, the, the, I would say then that um, product standards and those demos that we do and these events that we do all evoke a certain amount of trust in what the co-op is and what it does. Um, another, so that brings me to thinking about how do we express this sense of belonging in a very strategic way. Um, and one way that we do that was converting, I mean, over the years, Lake Winds has had a grant fund where we have donated money to nonprofits in our community. And we still do some of that on a monthly basis with sponsoring you know, various events and 5Ks and uh, uh, food fairs and health fairs and the various things that I, all of you, I'm sure, also get uh, requests for, for donations for. But with our principal grant fund, which now can uh, give away $25,000 a year, we converted that from just giving money to nonprofits based on an application to calling it the Lake Winds Organic Field Fund. 
And the purpose of the Lakelands Organic Field Fund is to provide funding to farmers and farming organizations that are supporting either organic farms local to our area uh, or farm organizations that serve those sorts of farms. And I can report that we just finished the grant cycle last week and we had 17 applications of which we funded eight. And we're funding farms that are transitioning to organic. We have funded something for four years now called the, uh, the Sustainable Farming Association of Minnesota has a new crops program where they're trying to figure out grains that were historically grown in our area that aren't any longer and that probably represent value added opportunities for farmers. Because where we come from for this whole thing is saying that uh, sustainable farming if, starts with being financially sustainable, that our farmers need to have a fair price and we need to find ways to help them add value and get on the land and survive. Um, so one way strategic, and I'll tell you, this is something that resonates totally with our owners. This notion that we're out there in the field doing these sorts of things um, really, and I see nodding heads, and I can see it resonates with you as well. So what I wanted to finish with uh, in terms of thinking about belonging and how do you get this huge group of people to feel like they're all on the same track is to show you uh, the last minute and a half of a video that we produced for our annual meeting in 2012. It's about an 11 and a half minute video. It's at our website at lakewinds.coop under community, and I think there's a tab that says Lakewinds Organic Field Fund if you want to watch the whole thing. What you would see are interviews with the farmers that in that year we funded through this fund. Um, what you're going to see in the last minute and a half are those same farmers talking directly to our members. And I'd be, I can talk about this at length, so I'd be happy to, to chat with you more about how we came to this point um, and how I've structured my activities as a general manager to include staking our ground at Lakewinds in that farming community in the part of Minnesota and western Wisconsin, our, what we consider our regional uh, food area. And it's become a strategic direction for us uh, specifically to address this notion of belonging and how to get people feeling, and, uh, and, uh, feeling that they're part of a co-op even though we're now a large entity. Um, so I'll show you this minute and a half, and one of the reasons that I really wanted to bring this in was I looked around at our annual meeting, there were probably 350 people there, and I, about half the people, and I'm choking up just thinking about it, about half the people were in tears at the end of what you're about to see. And I think that really speaks to that we've succeeded um, trying to create that notion of belong. So thanks a lot for your time. Lakewinds is so proud to be part of the next generation of leaders in local, sustainable, and organic farming. Within these five projects are longtime farmers and newly launched co-ops. They all demonstrate the desire to learn, whether it's organic farming techniques, new crop cultivation, or how to use compost to extend the growing season. They also want to share their learning with other farmers, including immigrants, and help them find markets for their food. Finally, they want to support and educate their communities. Because of you, Lakewinds can provide the help these young farmers and associations need. By being members, you support projects like the Lakewinds Organic Field Fund. All of us at Lakewinds and the farmers and producers we work with, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I'd really like to say thanks a lot to the Lakewinds members for providing support for us to get this compost experiment going. And, and uh, really you've helped us get our, our uh, collective, our growing collective growing out here uh, at Grow Twin Cities, so thank you very much. So thanks for your help with that. Thank you everybody from SFA for helping to fund and expand SFA's farmer to farmer network of sustainable agriculture within Minnesota. To the Lakewind Co-op members, I wish to express my sincere thanks to you. Your support to us allows us to pursue our mission of building a more sustainable food system and by doing this, training farmers that are going to get out on the land, produce more produce, and get it out to the communities and stores that need it. And your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.